Hello everyone, and welcome to our Assassin's Creed Valhalla Let's Play. Today we embark upon our journey with the Gutted Lamb. Have I stepped into Elf? Have I stepped into Elfheim? Or is this a new realm entirely? Sweat and blood, death and birth. Turn this man from beast to earth. Modron, stay your blade or die at my hand. I should have known Kunon wouldn't have it in him to quarter you for the dogs. It's a cold bitch who throws her lover to the wolves for her own crimes. You understand so little. No matter. Let me enlighten you with the fury of the gods! Alright, well, she does happen to have a bow at the moment. I do not see a depot for arrows, so definitely makes things a little unfair. I don't really think this is quite necessarily what I had in mind, but we should be able to do some pretty good damage to her, though. Let's see if we can't scale up there and close the distance just a little bit. Obviously, we do need to get all the way to the tippy top of this and hope that everything will kind of work out in our favor. Looks like we do also now have some arrows, so we're going to kind of make things a little bit more fair than it previously was. Obviously, she is quite a bit up there. Now, I do actually see some additional arrows just in case we do need them. It does look like that she's going to continue to move around. Obviously, not a whole lot of contested areas that really she can actually go to. I'm going to try to get this really explosive arrow kind of built up on her and see if we can't do a little bit of extra damage there, considering that it's one of those things that we actually need to really be dropping her doing some pretty good damage. Unfortunately, she does have those poison. Now, that does make our life more challenging, considering that now we need to really be on top of our game. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to simply just walk right on that. However, I should be able to do some really good damage with this, though. Unfortunately, she's actually in quite a predicament at the moment. Once again, we're also in the same spot, but the finishing blow is one of our greatest abilities. Do it then. Leave Gloucestershire in the hands of that Christian, and for what? Your name and some trade routes? Do you doubt the power of your gods to sway the mind of a man? Tefter is no longer the sellout you believe him to be. A man will lie to save his skin. When you are gone, he'll gut me and burn my people. The gods showed me this. Kunan spoke of your vision. The Nornir spin their fatal threats. But without your plan, his heart would remain unchanged. Then I have no regrets. But I had a vision of you as well. One of a path that twists like the river owls. A seer's spinnings twist limb and word alike. Prophecy is a river, and we are powerless to fight its clutches. She was fighting to protect her people. But she ground your name to dust. Sullied the honor of herself and her people. I cut my own path. Lord in his mercy. What sorcery happened here? The High Priestess Mordron tried to kill you. Why? In God's name, I've done nothing to her. She feared the Church would use you as God's hammer, so she convinced Kunan to have you killed. I killed Mordron, but Kunan lives to burn in the Wicker Man. Such a waste of life. 
The devil whispers into the ear of man. But we must ignore his voice. Modron had a vision of you wiping out the pagans. And Gwynedd is Kunan's bastard. So he simply did it to protect his kin. Love for one's child is a virtue. But wrath is a sin. How can one entangle with the other? We all lose our heads when our legacy is threatened. Be that name, kingdom, or child. Now, what of the witchling? I'll see that she's cared for. She has no guilt in this. I will not join your Church of Christ! You won't have to. <laughs>